Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Saturday, November 12th. We got a six game slate. We're going to jump right in as usual. We start with Luka Magic, 12 6, fire him up. Nothing to talk about. Trey Young, DeJounte Murray, two peas in a pod. Listen, put one in one lineup, put the other in another. If you're feeling spicy, got paid on Friday, you want to play extra lineups, you can even play both in one lineup. Have at it. Damian Lillard. Damian Lillard, 9,600, play, he plays today, he takes off tomorrow, plays the next day, takes off the next day, whatever. Whatever it is, $9,600 is a reasonable price for him. He should be able to pay it off. It is a slow pace against Dallas, but he is um, Dame Dollars, what they call him. So 9,600, fire him up. Halliburton, uh, Halliburton is a baby Chris Paul to me. Uh Obviously taller, um, eighty nine hundred. Listen, I'm 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 always gonna pay for Halliburton because of his usage, because of his peripherals and stocks. He's gonna control the game when he's on the floor. And Indiana is he has weapons, so it's not like he's gonna he's gonna pass the ball and you know they're gonna dribble the ball out of out of bounds. Like he has healed, he has mastering, he has. Turner, so that that raises his um, assist chances. You know what I'm saying? So that's how you know I look at everything. So Halliburton is absolutely in play. Rozier, 8600, six game slate. He's in play. Not my favorite play. If I'm playing three lineups. He won't be in one. But if I was playing six or seven lineups, I throw him in one. McCollum, I like the matchup. I don't like his price, but it is Houston. People have, you know, these teams have a field day against Houston. What I do is I'd play two of two of the big four out of the Pelicans. And when I say the big four, I'm talking about McCollum, Ingram, Zion, and then I'd, I'll include Valen Junis because he's over a one fantasy point per, per minute player. So I, I'd include him. I wouldn't play all four because... It's only one ball. If two of them go off, you pick the right two, you're good. You're looking good. You play all four, some would have good games and some would have bad games. If you're playing DraftKings, you get that snowflake. You know what that means, right? Early night. Time to go to bed. We don't want that. We're trying to win money, right? So play two of the Pelicans big four, and that's all I got to say about that. Van Vliet. Looks like he left the game with a sickness. I didn't watch the game yet. I don't know if he's sick. I don't know if he. it was a blowout, and he, he called it a night. Uh, if he's healthy, if Van Vliet is healthy at $8,200, he's, he's, he's an okay play. He's a good play, $8,200, because he can't pay that off. But let's see tomorrow after the injury report if he's on it. If he's not on it, I guess they're good. he's good to go. Anthony Simons, I'm not paying 80, 8100 with Lillard healthy, so I'll I'll bypass that. Maxi, Maxi is a sometimes player. Sometimes he plays good, sometimes he doesn't. I don't need him at 8K neither. Cunningham, uh, if Cunningham is healthy, then he's an okay play. Don't like the matchup too too tough, but. The way he gets fantasy points is by doing a little bit of everything. So, basically, the matchup doesn't shy me away, but I need him to be healthy. I right, listen. I keep saying it. DFS is sharper. The, the the DFS players this season are sharper. You can't go any into these games pussyfooting with players that are not returning value. If you're not sure your player can return value, don't play them. Don't just be playing anyone. You know, have some type of rhyme or reason. Have some type of attack plan. You know what I'm saying? Like. I mean, listen, it's your money. You want to play anyone. You can play anyone. You can do what you want to do. But, you know, say to yourself, can this salary return me five times value? I don't look at names when I when I make when I make my lineups. I look at the salary and then I and then I say to myself, what is this player's minutes? What is this player's usage? How many shots did this player take? Does this guy get rebounds? Does this guy get assists? What about steals and blocks on a regular basis? Like, I take all that into consideration, and then I place them into their desired spots. You know what I'm saying? So I, what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to assure myself that every position 
has the ability to return me at minimum five and a half times value, five times value, five and a half times value at minimum. And if they fail, if for some reason they fail, foul trouble, missed shots, whatever, it's not the end of the night for me. You know what I'm saying? For example, for example, if I pay, let's say I pay, all right, let's use Kyle Lowry. So Kyle Lowry $7,200. So that's like that's almost like 37 fantasy points you're looking for. 36, 50, 37 fantasy points, five times value. Right? Okay. So if I play Kyle Lowry, 7,200. I'm looking for 37 fantasy points. No, I'm really looking for 40 fantasy points, to be honest with you. But I'll take I'll take 37 fantasy points, right? That's almost five times value. So Kyle Lowry plays, Kyle Lowry gives me. 28 fantasy points. He's going to definitely have a snowflake, but guess what? My night is not over. I, I could still cash and I could still play very well because, you know, him being $7,200, him needed 37 fantasy points, and him, him giving me 28, 29, 30 points isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not the biggest fail in the world. You know what I'm saying? What is the likelihood of Kyle Lowry starting a starting point guard um, playing 35 minutes a game? You know, what's the likelihood of him giving me only 28, 29 fantasy points? Not very likely. It's it's more likely that he'll give me over 30 fantasy points. Right. So that's why that's why, you know, I will play Kyle Lowry. Now, that, that's just an example. I don't like Kyle Lowry, but that's just an example. So uh, make sure every spot that person can return you, you know, five times value at minimum an opportunity to return you five times value at minimum. Um, where are we? We spoke about Cunningham. Okay, Tyler Hero, I don't need that 7,700 right now. He's a little bit pricey. Uh, Porter, Porter's fine. 7,600. Lowry, 7,200. Lowry has been playing well. Don't expect him to keep it up. Look at the minutes, you know, 38, 35, 39. But his shots, he's only taking six shots. That's what we de- deter me from him, is his shots. And 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 with him not taking a lot of shots, this is likely to happen. So you get 33, 42, 28, 36, all fine fantasy points for his price. And then he comes with a 20, which, w- which will kill you. And the reason he got 20 fantasy points is because he only scored 10 fantasy points. And the reason he only scored 10 fantasy points is because he only took six shots. This is why I don't like Kyle Lowry. And that goes back to what I said. I need my players to take shots. If they take shots, they give you a, a fighting chance. Okay, so um, Melton, Melton at sixty four hundred. I don't think I could do it. Kind of, kind of tough. Jalen Green is always in play once he's in that six K range. Dennis Smith Jr. If he's healthy, you, you got He's getting a little bump with Rozier back and Gordon being out, so he's still fine play. Marsh is smart, last man in type deal, whatever. Brogdon, I don't need Brogdon. Um, Gabe Vincent, if there's no Tyler Hero, eh. you know we we're getting into the questionable parts right now. We're going into the deep waters. None of these guys are viable right now. Let's go to shooting guard. Listen, I'm just being honest with you. I know some of you might want to hear a four thousand dollar play. There is no four thousand dollar play. You know this is not awesomeo.com. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna feed you some bullshit. There's no four K plays right now. Once we get the injury report and we know who's in and who's out, then we go down to the go into the deep waters. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just trying to let y'all guys see the reality of what it is. What what it is we're doing. All right, sh- sh- shooting guard. Uh. Where are we? Ingram? Remember Ingram? Two out to four. He's in play. Jalen Brown. Jalen Brown is cheap for his ceiling, but Tatum is on a little run right now. And while Tatum is on that run, Jalen Brown's ceiling is going to be a little bit light. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, last five games, 48, 23, 43, 34, 46. What I like about him is, you know, over 30 minutes, look, 
26, 14, 19, 20, 19 shots, grabbing rebounds, grabbing assists, very underrated player. Like I said in the finals, he's not a two, he's a one. He just happens to play next to Tatum. I need people to give him his damn respect. You know what I'm saying? So Jalen Brown for president, Jalen Brown for fantasy. His price is, his, he's a couple hundred dollars too expensive for me with Tatum on the run that he's on, but I'd still play him because of his ceiling. Where are we? Okay. Okay. Nope. Okay. Yep. Dinwiddie. Yep. Dinwiddie's been a little bit. Dinwiddie's been playing well, too. Luka's been having down games. Dinwiddie's been having up games. How long do you think that's going to last? I think two games in a row just happened. You think it's going to happen three games in a row? I say it's not. I like Luka. Um, and I'm not going to play Luka and Dinwiddie. Because if Luka's going crazy, that means nobody's eating. If Luca's having a down game, that means that other people are eating, specifically Dinwiddie. So I'm going to say yay to Luca, nay to Dinwiddie, and let the chip fall where they may. If Dinwiddie smashes me on that slate, then he smashes me, but I'm going to choose one. Buddy Hill's in play. Kelly Oubre, he has one good game after week. He had his last game, so he's going to have a dud this game. That's my take standing on it. Two toes down. Uh, Delt. No, no Melton. No. Gary Trent, score independent. He's an okay play like last man in. Jaden Ivey, absolute failure tonight. Go right back to him. His ownership should be down because people game log chase. Go right back to him. He should have an explosion. I'm looking, I I, I have a gut feeling he's going to have like 40 fantasy points. Matherin, I always like Matherin. Gonna come, you know what he's gonna do when he when he gets to the game. You know he's gonna get his shots. You know he's gonna grab boards, get assists. Listen, he fills up the he fills up the 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 stat sheet, and he's fifty five hundred. He doesn't have the greatest minutes in the world, but listen, for what you're getting for fifty five hundred, play him. All right, no Alec Burks, none of these guys. Uh, Duncan Robinson. I'll be seeing people on Twitter. Hey, if if Tyler Hero is out, do we play Duncan Robinson? No, you don't fucking play Duncan Robinson. Jesus Christ. Duncan Robinson. 25, 13, 3, 19, 16 fantasy points. Probability of him hitting value at $3,800 is slim to none. You probably have a better chance going out on a date with Christina Aguilera. But let's put a small forward. Small forward. All right. We spoke about Tatum. He's in play. Barnes. He's a touch pricey, but he's in, he's in play. Tobias Harris, I don't need with Embiid back. OG, 73, he's in play. Josh Hart is in play. Kelly Oubre, we spoke about him. We spoke about him. Sadiq Bay, you're playing 9, 10 lineups. You could throw him in one. DeAndre Hunter, you're playing 6, 7 lineups. You could throw him in one. I like him. Uh, Herbert Jones, you're playing six, seven lineups, throw him in one. All these guys are viable. Just limit your exposure. Don't need Trey Murphy. Don't need Trey Lynn McDaniels. Don't need Caleb Martin with everybody else healthy. If Tyler Hero's out, you want to take a shot on Caleb Martin? Congratulations. Uh, KJ Martin, okay play. Eric Gordon, kill yourself. Tim Hardaway Jr., no. Grant Williams, no. If Grant Williams starts again, he's your last man in, so be it. Okay, I think that's about it. Nothing but bumps down there, especially a small forward. Um, Butler's in play. Zion's in play. Remember, two out of four. Two out of four. Uh, where are we? Jeremy Grant's in play. I don't know when he became a point forward. I mean, he was always like a point forward, but you got a little dribble now. You see him? All right, you go. You go, my guy. You go. Okay. Uh, Wood? No, still not paying up for him. John Collins is a, you know, every four, every five, every six lineups throw him in one. No streets for us. Jabari Smith's in play. He had a few down games. He missed the game. He came back. He's back to normal. Jabari Smith is fine. As Isaiah Stewart, he's been underpriced all season. I guess they're not paying attention. Fire up Isaiah Stewart. Every four lineups, you can throw him in one. He's usually my last man in at 5,500. And at 5,500, let me just show you what he's been doing. 30, 33, 17, 37, 27. So out of the last five games, 
he paid off his ticket four out of the five times. Isaiah Stewart. <sighs> Bojan. Bojan's in play. Okay, I don't need the rest of these guys. I don't need Boucher at 53. Jalen Smith's in play. Watford off the bench if Nurkic is out again. Uh, Wow. I, I'll pass on him for now until I get more information. I'd rather pay Wet Winslow. I like Winslow's upside. Um, and none of these guys are viable right now until we get more information. Okay, we're at center. Embiid, Embiid hasn't been Embiid. So if you're a Philly fan, cover your ears because I'm about to say some shit. If, if, if you are an Embiid fan, he's either hurt, he's either out of shape, mentally shut, he's mentally like drained, or he's washed. One of those four things are happening because these aren't Joel Embiid numbers. 44, definitely not Joel B number. 55, okay. 39, no. 41, no. 42, no. All this shit without Harden? Nah. Nah. So, you know, you guys figure out what's going on with Embiid. And when you get in, when Embiid is right and he lets y'all know he's right, y'all let me know he's right and I'll play him again. For now, I can't play Embiid. I'm not spending eleven one on a guy that I don't know what's wrong with him, but he's not himself. He could be washed. We don't know. We'll we'll figure it out. Bam is sometimes, but it is Charlotte. Bigs destroy Charlotte in the paint. Fire up out of bio. Valanjunas, two out of four. I like Valanjunas against Houston, though. Nurkic, if Nurkic is out, we're going straight to Eubanks. Sangoon is in play. Turner. Turner's a little bit of a sleeper. I might throw him in my main lineup. I've always been on Turner. Capella, listen, Capella destroyed Philly on the boards last game, and he's probably going to do it again. Capella, I like Capella a lot. I don't need Horford. I like Plumlee at 52. No no Powell, no Watford. None of these guys. I'm, I'm looking for Eubanks, to be honest with you. Did I pass him? Oh, 4,100 Eubanks. If there's no Nurkic, then he becomes a lock. He becomes a stone cold lock in my main lineup on DraftKings. So at 4,100 starting center, I'm not expecting him to bang down the door, but he's going to allow me to get whatever I want on DraftKings. You see what I'm saying? So um, let's get five guys for DraftKings and let's get out of here. It is Friday night. Ain't nobody trying to watch a DFS video on a Friday night, Saturday morning. So let me wrap this up so y'all can get going. I appreciate all you guys being here. Uh, all right. So I think, I think that I'm gonna just pop in Eubanks, and if Nurkic is out, we leave him. If Nurkic is in, obviously we take him out. And if you got big King Kong balls, you can leave him in there. Like if 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 I made this lineup and fell asleep and Nurkic started, I wouldn't like I wouldn't cry about it. Eubanks is still pay that off, so I'm not worried about it. Let's get out. Let's get some. Let's get four more players and let's get going. Um, I think I am playing Luca. I he had two down games, so I'm expecting him to have a better one. Fifty-one, forty-five. Yeah, fifty-one is a down game for him. All right, let's 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 pick him up. Let's pick him up. So we're going Luca. I'm going back to Ivy. 57. So I got two value plays out of guys that I want. Perfect. Small forward. I should just pick up Tatum and let's just hold on. Slow down. Slow down. Let me get Matherin. I like Matherin. And now I want Tatum. Tatum is 10 to 1. Yeah, I want Tatum. I want Tatum. This is this is this is the easiest five guys I've ever picked. So we got Luca. I got Ivy. We got Matherin. We got Tatum. We got Eubanks. And Eubanks is depending on if Nurkic is in or out. If Nurkic is playing, then I'll just take out Eubanks. I'll probably take out Tatum, find a cheaper power forward, and then do what I do 
on the one and two spot. Let's go to FanDuel. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up. That all helps helps build the channel, and we've been doing it um, very well. Um, I really appreciate it. I thank you guys very quickly. Anyone struggling to cash, you would like my full up-to-date optimal lineup sent to you before a lot. You would like me to build you out lineups for DraftKings, FanDuel, SuperDraft, or Yahoo. No problem. Check out the Patreon link in the description, or you can DM me on Twitter, and we'll get you going. All right. Well. We're at, we're at FanDuel. I got five guys out already. And it's the same five. I don't really be planning these five guys for FanDuel or DraftKings. I just kind of go, I just scan through FanDuel, for, look for five guys that are somewhat underpriced or that I that stand out to me. And I play them and then they, they happen to stand out on DraftKings too. So it's not a coincidence. Um, I mean, it is a coincidence, but I don't plan it. Um, so I, I like Luke on FanDuel. Matherin, I always like Tatum. You know what you're gonna get from Tatum. Eubanks is 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 minimum if there's no Nurkic, and then Capella destroyed um, Philly last time they played. And he's most likely gonna destroy him again. And one and once again, once again, keep in mind right here, Drew Eubanks. If Nurkic is in, I'm taking Eubanks out. Okay, all right. So I think that's that. I appreciate you guys. I'm going to go on and get out of here, let you get back to your Friday night, Saturday mornings. Well, it's going to be Saturday mornings by the time this video is, is posted. I really pre appreciate each and every one of you. You guys helping me build this channel it means a lot to me. I'm not taking any days off. And and you guys you guys really show me a lot. So I want to show you some 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 things back. I'm going to get out of here. Enough with the lovey-dovey talk. I'll see you guys later. Ciao.